Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to finish your novel in 2022. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a young adult and middle grade fantasy writer hoping to be traditionally published, and I'm also the host of the Diversity is Lit book club. When it comes to drafting, some of us are slow going, and that's okay, but it might be a little bit slower than we'd like. Or maybe you have an idea that you haven't gotten onto paper yet, but you're thinking, this could be the one. This could be the one that gets me an agent and gets me published. Maybe you thought you'd have your novel finished in 2021, but like many of us have felt, the year came and went and we still don't have it done. If any of this speaks to you, you have definitely come to the right place. So let's dive in to my top five tips to finish your novel in 2022. Tip number one, come up with a game plan. If you're a plotter or a planter and you need to plot out a couple more details before you dive back into writing, then do that. And if you're a pantser who could start writing at any time, but maybe you're not finding that time, try to set a schedule to get those words in. It really helps to know the time, place, and for how long you're gonna be writing so that you can set yourself up for success. A lot of times we just say we're going to write and then the day escapes us. It's evening, the sun is gone, and you're like, what happened? I have zero words written and repeat cycle day after day. So if you try to make that one of your mission criticals, your game changer goal in the morning, you can make sure that you get those words written and you don't let the day get away from you. I recently heard this really great phrase called eat the frog. And I have been trying to like, embody this phrase every morning and it's helping me um, such as filming this video this morning but the whole concept is there may be something you want to do but it's really hard it's not the most comfortable thing in the world aka eating a frog so every morning think to yourself what's that one goal if you accomplished it you would feel productive aka writing and do that and eat the frog tip number two Give yourself a concrete goal or deadline. Having some organization and structure to your routine can help set you up for success by making sure that you're on track. It's important to give yourself daily or weekly word count goals so that you can make sure you're on track with whatever deadline you have set for yourself. Everyone always likes to hit a goal. Everyone always likes to be successful. So if you give yourself a target number, then you're more likely to hit it. And you wonder why so many people try to write their first drafts during during NaNoWriMo. So I know a lot of people can't do NaNoWriMo. One month is too short to finish a whole novel, but you can really do NaNoWriMo at any time and kind of give yourself like a semi or like mini NaNoWriMo where you give yourself one, two, three months with a specific daily or weekly word count goal and you keep track of that either on the NaNo website or of your own accord and use that to track your progress. Everyone's word count goals are going to look different based on how long their manuscript's going to be with their genre or age category. So find whatever works for you. Tip number three, enlist the help of beta readers and critique partners early. So first of all, many critique partners can give you that motivation and encouragement that you need early on and all throughout the writing process. They can give you that accountability because you can say, hey, do you want to work on our manuscripts together? And you can set aside time to get that writing in. Also, if you hit a block with a scene or a character and you're just stuck on where to go next, you can talk with your critique partner and try to collaborate and get unstuck so that you can keep moving forward. And then on the flip side, gathering beta readers early will be helpful because that can give you a little bit of accountability and external motivation as a kick in the pants for sending your manuscript out to these beta readers. So if you start gathering them, start telling them about your story and a kind of deadline of when you want to submit the second draft or whatever you want to send to the beta readers, then you're gonna be motivated because you don't wanna let them down. There's a date that you said you were gonna send it to them and you wanna keep that promise. Of course there is flexibility, so if that gives you like stress or anxiety, then you know, 
don't worry about that, but that can be another external motivator to help you stay on track and be disciplined. And tip number four, along those same lines, use writing sprints and live streams to help you stay on track with your writing. So it's really great to join these writing sprints and live streams that happen on YouTube, Discord, uh, Twitch, really anywhere, because you already have a set date and time that you have set aside for writing. And once you sit down to write, you're more likely to follow through with your writing session because it's already started with other people in the chat that you can talk with, with the hosts and guests that are on the live stream chatting with you, as well as the breaks that you will have in between the writing sprints to chat about fun things, to learn different writing craft tips, and just to take a break and set yourself aside from your writing just for a little bit before you dive back in. It is like the perfect storm to get those words written. After each writing sprint, you also share how much you wrote so that can be like a fun motivator because everyone is sharing their wins. So writing sprints and live streams are a great tool for any writer's toolbox. And last but not least, tip number five is to know your why. I know this sounds like a cheesy guru hoo-ha thing, but it really is helpful when people have said it. I'm like, yeah, whatever, I know, I wanna be published. But when you write it down and you really break down why you are writing this book and what your ultimate goals are, it really helps to motivate you. So that is what I'm challenging you to do right now is to write down your ultimate goal for the work in progress that you are currently working on or that you will be working on soon whether it's to practice, to just improve your craft, if you want to self-publish, if you want to traditionally publish, if you want to enter a contest, make this your full-time job, fulfill a childhood dream, whatever it is, write it down. I recommend writing this on a post-it note or some sort of note that you can stick you know, next to your desk or on the rim of your computer or your laptop or on your story binder or journal or wherever so that throughout the day you can look at it and kind of get that reminder about why you started writing in the first place. And you can look at it before each writing session or if you know you should be writing but you're feeling a little bit demotivated and it can kind of help rejuvenize you you'll know that your work doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to exist. So write down your why and the rest will follow. So while you're writing down your why on a post-it note, also write it down in the comments down below so I can help motivate you as well with cheering you on in your current work in progress. So my why for Project Diamond is this is an own voices story, so I really want to be able to share that with the world. And I wanna be traditionally published because this is a dream of mine to be an author and I want to share my stories with the world. Are you interested in more writing craft videos and writing tips? Then check out the link in the description below or up in the cards. I also have a writing sprints playlist, so if you're interested in that, I will also link that down below so that you can use that during your writing sprints. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.